before we demonstrate control traverse adjustment I'm going to go into configure DTM display and turn off everything I'm not interested in seeing and I've already got a preset called stations and names and this will turn everything else off apart from the stations their heights and the control observations control traverse at this point you need to look in the bottom left hand corner of the screen because it's now asking us to locate the first either fixed or adjusted station from which to start the traverse adjustment. Now this is quite a simple example there is a closed loop which runs all the way around the outside of the survey and then there are some loops which work their way in to the middle of the survey. This demonstration isn't going to cover all eventualities I'm just going to just show you the general flow of adjustment. Now it's asking us for a fixed or adjusted station and looking at the colors of the stations there is only one fixed or adjusted station. If we go into configure hardware system display colors we will see that fixed stations are dark blue and unadjusted are red. Well, of course you can change the colors for these to make them clearer to see. It's now asking for a fixed backsite. Now there isn't a fixed backsite, i.e. a fixed station as a backsite from A, but I have the option of using an unadjusted station. There are three sets of backsites from station A. One goes to station B, one goes to station E, and one goes to station G. I'm going to select station G. Alternatively, I could locate and snap on station G. You can see the importance of turning on the station names for this exercise. And it will now offer us two possible routes around this traverse. Now bear in mind that the arrows indicate foresights and backsights. If we were to adjust this traverse in an anti-clockwise fashion, we would get to station E and there is no backsight to station D. That would mean that the only route we have available to us is to go through station F. Now if we want to adjust the outside loop, then that means we're going to have to go clockwise. Now these are in alphabetical order and I could simply just choose the first one but alternatively I could hit locate. It then goes to either station C or H. I want station C and then at C it can either go in to I or out to D, which is D I want and then from D I can go back to G and then close or go out to E. Well I'm going to select E and then straight back to station A. As soon as it has completed that loop it is going to produce a report and that report is showing the Eastings, Northings, Level and Angle Misclosure and the accuracy of that traverse if I don't want to include the angles in that adjustment then I can untick this option and I will get a recalculation of the accuracy. But as the angle misclosure is only one second of arc it won't make a lot of difference. It will also list the angle and distance deviations which are contributing most to that inaccuracy in the traverse adjustment. I'm not going to cover all of the options here but let me just point you in the direction of how you would amend any of these individual readings. So it's telling me that angle reading which is out by 14 seconds set on station B backsight observation number 3 and set at number 1. So set at number 1 set on station B Go to Edit, Foresight is 3, and then select Edit. I can now 
choose not to use this angle or indeed I can edit the angle. As soon as I select OK it will now tell me which observations are contributing to the greatest angle deviations. If I'm interested in adjusting or excluding specific distances so for example from station C to station D in observation number one I can now go and deselect that distance. You will see throughout that the accuracy value will change dynamically. As soon as I'm happy with the results of my edits OK will produce a report detailing the mean station data and this is a real-time Bowditch adjustment not a least squares adjustment and when I select OK it will commit those changes to the LSS survey the stations will be adjusted and all observations from those stations will be moved appropriately and what you will now see is that the colors of the unadjusted stations has now changed station G has become a fixed station and the stations through which the traverse was performed have now become adjusted stations and the only ones which haven't changed are the ones which the traverse didn't run through which is station I H and F